Hey, yo, bro. Stop watching these dating videos. Stop watching these red pill content videos, bro. You're wasting your motherfucking time, and I'm gonna explain why. Let's get it. What's going on, y'all? It's your, it's your, it's your boy, Brandon, helping my young man get to the mother loving stratosphere. Boo, you feel me? Hey, man, look. All you guys, bro, stop watching these dating videos. Stop learning how to approach women. Stop learning how to get choosing signals. Stop learning how to cold approach. Stop learning how to get the upper hand on these bitches, bro. I'm here to tell you guys, you need to stop watching it. Bro, to be honest, I quit watching it. And this isn't a diss video at none of my guys, bro. All these dudes changed my life. I'll, I'll, I'll name a list. Steph is cold. That's my boy. Alpha Male Strategies, MJ Get Right, FitX Fearless. King Dre, how to be a player, bro. Y'all know I had my phase, bro. I, literally, the end of 2018 and most of 2019, all I did was watch these fucking dating videos, bro. Like, bro, I would literally be in the car doing my ADT shit, learning all this shit about code approach, learning all this shit about choosing signals, learning all this shit about how to deal with women nature. And dog, don't get me wrong, I learned a lot of shit. And I highly recommend that every single man at least gets the basics because a man without red pill knowledge is an idiot you're going to be one of these guys that i talked about in my last video about how your wife she gonna have a little leash and a little collar around your neck and you're gonna do whatever she says please master i do whatever you say i don't want you to be a slave bro but look bro at a certain point y'all gotta quit doing this shit why do you think when i told you guys about the video on OnlyFans, i was so fucking mad at these dumbass dudes bro because so many men they're so consumed with pussy bro like so many fucking men are consumed with pussy it blows my fucking mind but as you guys are the red pill you understand that that's not good and you understand that you need to get on your purpose but why is it that so many guys even though they watch red pill content for months and even some of you motherfuckers watch this shit for years, but you're still watching these videos constantly. I'm gonna tell you the three reasons why you need to stop watching red pill videos today. And I'm not talking about red pills in truth. I want you guys to know about what's going on with the vaccine and spirituality. And you need red pill knowledge on how to invest your money. Cause if you do not know how to make the right investments, cause pretty much the red pill is just the truth about the world. I don't want you guys to live in a fucking fantasy, living a lie. Cause then you're gonna go back into the matrix. But as far as dating, bro, after a certain point, you don't need it. So I'm gonna give you guys the three reasons why. Before we get into it, man, smash that thumbs up button, comment down below. And if you're new, subscribe to your boy. So the first thing, bro, it makes you overthink everything, bro. Like you seen a chick at the supermarket or oh, she's looking at you. Should I talk to her? Oh, maybe it wasn't a choosing signal. Or, you know, I should just a cold approach chicks and choosing signal, bro. Every motherfucking dating coach has a certain strategy. And me, bro, I'm a natural overthinker, bro. You guys know I'm an introvert. I'm pretty much what people call a sigma male. So I'm very intellectual and I can pretty much analyze different situations. One thing that really hurt me when I was watching way, way, way too many videos is I would overthink everything. If a chick wasn't texting me back within 30 minutes, all right, AMS, let me see what, what, what strategy is this bitch using? Is this bitch, like this bitch is a fucking war general. Like she coming out here, she got troops and shit. She just didn't fucking text back. Or, you know, I'll go to the mall and then the chick, she gave me a, a looking up and down looking. She didn't respond right away. All right, you know, FedEx, FedEx fearless, let me see. What type of shit should I look up today, huh? She she looked at me from the left side and, bro, y'all motherfuckers gotta understand what dating this shit is not something you have to overthink. It is just like sales. When I first did sales, bro, I would read all these books. I would look at all these programs. I would be fucking studying for years, for hours and hours. But when I went on the fucking the doors, I didn't know shit, bro. Because at the end of the day, with sales, bro, it all comes down to experience. In basketball, it all comes down to how many games you play. When it comes to dancing, it comes to how many reps you put in. When I talk to my guy, my trainer, my boxing trainer, I'm not watching videos on Mayweather, dog. Motherfucker, I'm in that bitch swinging, dog. Hit your ass with a one, two, boom. Bitch, you knocked out. Because, bro, you have to put in action to learn. And yeah, while learning this shit is really, really good, at the end of the day, bro, it's just a natural process. I tell you guys, look. I tell you guys, look. If a girl likes you, she's going to give you a number. If a girl likes you, she's going to go on a date. If a girl likes you, she's gonna let you stick your penis in them. And at the end of the day, bro, the one thing that you understand with dating is you're trying to put yourself up to such a high standard because you see guys who fuck hundreds and hundreds of chicks in their life that you think you have to be this supernatural guy. If you look at the average guy out there, bro, 
Motherfuckers don't know shit. Motherfuckers don't know shit. Motherfuckers, got, they ain't got no haircut. They ain't got no sweat. They walk like a weenie, bro. They talk like a weenie. They don't know anything about female nature. So just the fact that you're not on her ass, on her pussy 24 seven, that separates you from nine out of these 10 dudes. But the one thing that you gotta understand, bro, is when you overdo something, when you overcomplicate something, you never get it. When I go out and I have to get money, bro, and I'm thinking like, all right, should I talk to this person this way? What response should I say? When I first started sales and I was working like that, I didn't get no fucking sales. When I just say, you know what, bro, I'm good at this shit. I'm gonna get a sale, bro. I'm gonna put in the work, it's gonna happen. Always get sales. That's how it is with women, bro. This shit is natural, dog. But when you start watching way too much videos and you keep constantly, constantly feeding into it, it makes you overthink. And next thing is, is bro. If you heard three dating coaches, three dating coaches with different perspectives, you more than likely heard it all, bro. Now, don't get me wrong. There are certain situations that guys get in where, you know, they might learn something new. You know what I'm saying? Like one person that I really fuck with now is Dr. BOA because he puts a spiritual aspect of dating because obviously, bro, dating is techniques, then it's mindset, then it's spiritual. That's how the world is. 2D, 3D, spiritual, 4D. You see what I'm saying? So, bro, most of these dating coaches are teaching you guys basic shit about how women don't want all your attention, why women cheat, or whatever. You know, the motherfuckers be making the videos, bro. But when you listen to one coach and you listen to 100 videos, and you listen to another coach and listen to 100 videos, they pretty much tell you the same shit. Stay on your purpose. Work out. Take care of yourself. Don't be too needy. Don't overthink shit. Just calm the fuck down and chill. That's literally all it is, bro. You, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of you guys have been watching the same videos from the different person and you think, oh, bro, I'm gonna learn something new. I'm not saying you're not gonna learn something new because you can obviously get a new perspective from somebody else. But when I go out and I sell, bro, I have a certain formula that works for me that I do not need to be watching Grant Cardone and Ty Lopez and fucking, um, what's the other dude named? Don Locke and all these, bro, I know how to fucking sell, bro. It's easy as fuck. So I'm just gonna go out there and I do it. And a lot of times when you guys try to listen to these other dudes, they fuck up your style because like I said, you start overthinking everything, all right? And the last reason, and this is honestly the most important reason, is bro, when all you do is constantly watch videos, watch videos, watch videos, watch videos. I don't care if you guys are not texting and chasing women, but just the action of you watching a video means that women are constantly on your mind because you are what you consume. If all you're doing is watching dating videos, that's what you're worried about. You may say, oh, I'm on my purpose, bro. I ain't gonna text that bitch back. But just the fact of you watching a fucking video for hours upon hours every day means that's what you're focused on, bro. And you guys cannot sit here and cap and tell me. When I would go and I would learn this red pill shit, yeah, I learned knowledge, but I was not getting any better with women because I was constantly thinking about women and what they were doing and all this dumb ass shit. Bro, I'll tell you like this, bro. Since I've been at this Herbalife shit uh, last week, Monday, I got fucking four bitches numbers in Instagram, bro. The chick I just took a picture with, I don't even be thinking about these hoes, come up to me like, oh, hey, you know, we should hang out. And oh, hey, you know, here's your, here's my number. And oh, hey, you know, I'm gonna help you with the flyer. Bro, I, bro, I promise you, bro, I'll be going in. It's like, I could just pull out my dang lang and I'm gonna be a king. But the reason why is, bro, I do not give a fuck. About, like, bro, I put it to you like this. I do not give a fuck if I'm talking to a chick right now, bro. It's funny because, like, I told you guys in my video, like, the, two, the video two times ago about uh, the five signs that you are chosen spiritually. Bro, the chick that I used to date, she hit me up randomly, bro. And usually, you know, with me, I'm like, oh, bro, she hit me back. One of my ex-girlfriends hit me back. I'm going to hit. I'm going to get the pussy. Bro, I was on the phone. I was talking to her about some real shit about COVID. I don't give a fuck about fucking her. Yeah, she got some good head and shit. But I don't give a fuck if I fuck her, bro. Like, bro, to be honest, this shit is so much more important. Making these videos, boxing, working out, getting money, bro. Making sure my grandma's okay. Making sure my family's okay, bro. Like, bro, like, I, bro, this is my, this is my, this is my life priority right now. The most high, learning how to box, learning how to survive, keeping my body right, working out, you know what I'm saying? Investing. Um, the next thing that I'll do is I'll read like some red pill knowledge, hang out with my friends, bro. A woman would be number nine right now, bro. A woman would be number nine because bro, they're not that fucking important. Regardless of where you're at on earth, regardless of how old you are or how young you are, there will always be females in your fucking life. I do not give a fuck about a chick, bro. And don't get me wrong, like I care as in like, I don't wanna see nothing bad happen, but I do not give a fuck if a bitch is in my life or not. And I realized that the last few, even the last month or two, bro, like 
that shit does not fucking matter to me, bro. Because especially right now, bro, if you doing what I'm doing and I tell you this shit is life and fucking death, the last thing you need to be worried about is if a bitch wants to fuck with you or not. I don't give a fuck. And that's how you motherfuckers need to be. And now I finally understand what AMS and Steph is Cold and NJ Get Right was talking about. That shit is not that important, bro. And yeah, when you watching their videos, you helping them out. But you need to understand what you focus your time and your money and your energy on is what you're going to constantly think about. And when it comes to women, if that's all you fucking think about, regardless of how much red pill knowledge you have, you're still technically a simp because all you think about is women all day, bro. That's just motherfucking facts. So look, bro, that's why I don't really give a fuck about this shit. And honestly, if you guys have been watching Red Pill content for three, six months, a year, and all you're doing is watching videos about women all day, bro, get your motherfucking priorities straight, dog. Because right now, some shit going on outside that's 10 times bigger than whether a chick is texting you back. So look, bro, I hope I helped y'all out. If I did, man, like I said, smash that thumbs up button. And let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. And if you're new, subscribe to your boy. I love y'all, man.